This video will show you where to enter employer identification number, also known as EIN, in QuickBooks Online, and also uh, how to use that on uh, sales forms. So I'm on the QuickBooks Online homepage here. To enter or change uh, EIN number, uh, you come to upper right corner. This is the company gear. Under settings, select company settings. And uh, company is right, EIN number is right here. So this is the number you get from IRS. It's a nine digit number. So this is where you enter IRS uh, EIN number. Uh, and uh, so that's where you enter company gear, company settings, employee ID number right here. Okay, and uh, now. Uh, how do I use that number on sales forms like uh, invoices, uh, estimates, codes, sales receipt type? So you have to uh, use it on your sales custom form styles here, custom form style. So normally you would have uh, cu cu custom form styles under settings. Uh, in case you don't have it, then you have older or older version of QuickBooks. Uh, the new ones they have custom form styles right here uh, if you don't have it the older one you have to go from here company settings uh, sales and custom look and feel uh, so if you click it here it will take the same place actually custom form styles uh, so if you have a real older version it will still take you to a different place so I'm just gonna this will custom form styles it's a new one so I already have one standard in here uh, and uh, so edit in here okay so the place to uh, put in federal ID number is right here custom form style footer footer tax ID number so this is where you enter it and you can make it center or bigger one number here the big uh, font size you have center left uh, center left and right okay have it in here uh, then save it. You can see it from here, so you have to look at it. Uh, your actual sales form, like invoice. Okay, save this. Now, uh, let's say you want to create sell invoice right here. Okay, I've already done one here. So, print or preview. At the bottom, you will see tax ID number in here. This is where you see your tax ID number when you send out your invoice. Uh, and this one also, uh, it will apply to your other forms like uh, estimate or code or sales receipt. Estimate, same place. right here so that's how uh, you enter EIN number and how you use it on sales forms thank you for watching uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels also like us on Facebook thank you again